Yeah, let's do this. We can go live 10 minutes early. We can do whatever we want. Hey, what's up? This is Johnny Bean. And uh, hey, if this is your first time here, this uh, this channel, we uh, we talk a lot of Van Halen. We we talk a lot, lot of stuff, a lot of music stuff, but we do, we do love, there we go, we're live. We do love our Van Halen, as you guys know. And this, uh, this is called a Van Halen update right now. We're going to talk some Van Halen 2. Happy anniversary, Van Halen 2. Celebrating what I put in the title. How many years? Something like 45? 45, 45 years. That's, that's pretty incredible. So, so let's do this, you guys. Um, I just have to, uh, I got to let our Facebook friends in here. Edit audience, public. There we go. There we go. We're live on Facebook. There we go. Yes. Thank you. All right, let's do this. We'll talk some Van Halen 2 for, for a little while today. All right, this is Johnny Bean TV. Hey, this is Michael Anthony right here, and you are watching exclusively Van Halen on the Johnny Bean TV. Keep it there. See ya! Thank you, Michael Anthony! What's up, you guys? Welcome. My name's Johnny Bean. If this is your first time here, you guys, we talk all things rock music. We talk guitars. But uh, I do a show I call exclusively Van Halen Tuesdays. I call it OU81 Tuesdays. 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific. YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, X, all over the place. And yeah, we talk all things Van Halen live Tuesdays, but I, I do a lot of these update, these like up special, you know, update shows whenever there's like an anniversary or, or breaking news or whatever. So we like, we like to do that stuff too. But hey, let's make this a real show and let's say hello to the top tier of channel members here on Johnny Bean YouTube stations. Channel membership's a great way you can help support the channel and support these shows. And the top tier are the executive producers, and they are Sherman Callahan, CC, Nova9, Michael Smith, Music Therapy, Les, who I think I see in the chat, R Habs, Warlag, uh, Fairfield Guitar Co., that's Lewis. Again, happy birthday, Lewis. His birthday was yesterday. Majestic PB and J Cat, and Janice Lala, the intern. That's the top tier of channel membership. If you'd like to help support this channel and support these shows, channel membership is a great way you can do that because you get your name in green in the chat like Music Therapy Laz. I see you. I see you in the chat. You are a channel member. You get exclusive content. Uh, you get what else? You get exclusive emojis that only you can use as a channel member. It's awesome. But if you'd like to help support the channel in other ways, Super Chats is the way you can do that. And the cool thing about Super Chats is they change the color of my lights. So if you look behind me here, you'll see the, what I call the Guitar Noir. It's where these guitars hang out. And we got stuff there. By the way, we do giveaways on, on most of these shows. I think we'll do this. We'll give away a tin of Eddie Van Halen guitar picks. In the chat, which, which design is that? In the chat. We got people watching us live right now. What, what design? What guitar design is that? Let me know in the chat. We'll do the giveaway towards the end of the show today. So, yeah. So, we're live on YouTube. We're also live on Facebook. Johnny Bean page. We got Facebook stars you can help support. We're also live in the exclusively Van Halen group. 63,000 members. We're live in the EVH Gear Fans Live group at that three, over 3,000 members. We're live in the Johnny Bean TV group at over 1,000 members. We're live on Twitch. This is a podcast on Spotify. We're on X, and we're basically everywhere. 
exclamation point s in the chat we'll give you all the, the all the, the social media channels we got sweetwater affiliate links down below and we got amazon uh, affiliate links down below so if you'd like to help out the channel those are excellent ways to help us out help support these shows thank you so much okay all right let's say hi to some people and then let's let's get into this uh this wasn't going to be a super long show to, today because you guys know this. It's currently it's Saturday. I do a show Saturdays. I call Strategy Night, and th that show starts about uh, 10 p.m., 10:30 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Saturday nights so we talk all things rock music, you know, all kinds of cool stuff. But again, when there's when there's like an anniversary in the world of Van Halen or breaking news, any kind of anything, I bring I bring it to you. We bring it to you here, right here. I mean, Michael Anthony said to keep it here. So keep it here. Subscribe to the channel. We're actually looking to get to 12K subscribers. When we hit 20K, we'll be giving away a Kramer Beretta special guitar. But I think we'll be giving away another guitar before that. I just have to ship it to our friend Ron. And he was going to uh, doctor it up for us and, and make it real nice and... and uh Whoops. Oh, my batteries are dying again. Oh, no. Crap. Janice, can you send me a tweet reminding me that I need to get batteries for this thing again? Man. All right. Let's say hello to some people and then let's get into this. Let's let's uh, let's do this. Dan Gorman is here. What's up, dude? Great to see you. James G is here. Channel member. Good to see you, man. Johnny Mac 5150. I want an Epiphone Explorer. Right on, man. Those are great guitars, dude. Music Therapy Laz, I see Scott, Dan, James, Johnny, and Robot. Hey, what's up? James G. Shark, that's right, man. We'll be giving away the Van Halen Shark uh, graphic guitar pick tin. These are brand new, not opened. So if you want a, a, a tin of these, hang out towards the end of the show today. Usually these shows are about an hour long-ish, you know, because I talk so much during the beginning. The first 15 minutes is like nothing but self-promotion. But hey, it's my channel. I can do whatever I want, you know? Yes. All right. So we'll be giving these away towards the end of the show today. And the way we do the giveaways is you participate in the chat. We do like a random number thing, and it's, it's pretty fun. It's pretty good. So hang out, hang out uh, with us towards the end, the end of that. Uh, let's see, the Frankenstein, current 50 or the Shark Dakota says, that's right, man. Who won last night? The show last night, um, uh, Talking Guitars, uh, it was a guy named Danny won, and he is in Chile. So Danny, I don't know if you're watching this. I don't know if, if uh, what time it is, it is in Chile right now. But I actually, I went to the post office earlier, little, literally an hour ago. I was at the post office trying to mail your guitar picks. And they're like, you can't put it in this envelope. You got to put it in a bigger envelope. And I'm like, Ugh. so I left. I'll, I'll go back. Uh, I think I think Monday, I'll, I'll be sending that out because I, I have to repackage uh, your guitar picks. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but that's how it is. Johnny Mac, nothing, uh, dude. Great songs. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. We're going to do that. Destroyer. What's up? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the Destroyer, the Shark. There you go. All right. All right, you guys. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's, let's, uh, let's pull this up. All right. All right, here we go. Which way? Which way are we? There we go. All right, let's go over to Van Halen News Desk, and let, let's read some stuff here. Van Halen to Tribute. 45 years ago today, this album was released. March uh, 23rd, uh, 1979. I mean, look at that. That Look at those songs, you guys. I mean, these are, I mean, classics. Classic tunes. Look at that. The album starts out with You're No Good, which uh, in the chat, I like, we like to do trivia on the, on the channel here. What, uh... What song, what song was released later that used a kind of a, a section of You're No Good? Can you guys tell me in the chat? Jenna says, I thought this was going to be on the half hour. What? Oh, we started early, Janice. We started early. 
You're going to YouTube. Okay, Janice is over on, on Facebook right now. Janice, if you can, keep a couple tabs open. You can help us out by being on YouTube and Facebook at the same time. It helps. It Believe me, it helps. All right, let's see. What uh, this first song, you're no... Well, first of all, I'm going to ask you guys some questions here. You guys can, can answer us in the chat on YouTube, on Twitch, on Facebook, wherever you're watching from, or in the comments below. By the way, you guys, you know, these shows, they get watched... Um, most of the views, if you guys are wondering, I'll, I'll give you guys some insight to some of these shows. Most of these shows get, excuse me, most of, whoa, earthquakes. Most of these shows get most of the, the, the views later on, you know, because these shows get watched, uh, you know, over and over and over for years and years and years. So you can drop a comment below in the comment section with some of these answers. And hey, you never know. I might, I might do a, a, a special giveaway or, or uh, you might win a prize by dropping comments below by answering some of these questions. So keep it here. All right. All right. You're no good. Who wrote the song or who performed the song? We'll give you some, uh, some trivia questions. Who performed the song You're No Good in the, in the 70s? Let's see if you guys uh, if you guys can answer that. That was a, a cover song. That was actually I believe that was a song that they used to they used to play in the clubs. And so you may be able to hear some ver uh, early versions of that when they were playing the the clubs back in the day. Let's see, Scott is over on Facebook. I see you. You say Jello, Christopher. All right, yeah, Greasy Monkey. I see you guys. Deputy Van Halen. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Linda Ronstadt. You guys are getting that. Right on. Yep, so You're No Good was a, a Linda Ronstadt song. I don't know if she wrote it, but she definitely performed it in the 70s. Huh, you said Dakota said it already? You said it too? Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go, man. Dakota knows everything. <laughs> 45 years? What the f Robot, tell me about it. Well, I mean, it really doesn't seem that long ago to me because I, I didn't buy the album until 10 years later, 1988 or so. But the, still, that's still a long time ago. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, what's going on, you guys? Time is just flying by. Dude, this is crazy. All right, so you got You're No Good. And one of the other questions I'd asked, what, uh, what part of You're No Good appeared in a song later? I'll go ahead and give you guys the answer for that. Then in 2012, Van Halen uh, released an album called A Different Kind of Truth, which a lot of people, they want it back on streaming. They want it back on Spotify, Apple. Currently, it's not there. And, and it's, it's, it's a shame. But uh, the very first song, Tattoo, 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 you guys remember that one? That song does have a part where Edward does do like a volume swell. I think it's at the end of, end of the song, actually. At the end of Tattoo, he kind of almost plays the beginning of You're No Good. If you guys listen to it, you'll hear that. Let me know what you think in the comments or down below in the comments. All right, after that. Dance the Night Away. Huge, huge single for the band. And here's some trivia about, about that song. Dance the Night Away was a song that both Edward and Alex had said years later that they didn't like the song or they didn't like performing the song. They felt like it, it wasn't, um, it was too pop. It was too pop for, for what they uh, wanted to do at the time. Dakota is saying that was a top 20 hit in 1979. Yeah, I mean, it was a single, Dance the Night Away. And actually, I was going to give away uh, one of the 45, one of the vinyl 45s today, but I think I already gave them all away past a uh, year or so of doing, doing these shows. I don't, I don't have them anymore. I'm going to have to go buy some. <laughs> I was a huge Van Halen collector throughout uh, the later part of the 80s, all of the 90s. And uh, most of the 2000s, I had a huge Van Halen collection for a long time. 
And I wish I still had a lot of that stuff because I'd be, I'd be presenting a lot of that stuff. Right. I'd be giving it all away now in these shows. And actually a lot of it I have given away recently. So now we're getting to the point where I'm giving guitars away. So, so again, you guys, uh, if you want to win uh, a Kramer Beretta guitar, help us get to 20 K YouTube subscribers. But our next goal is 12 K, which we're almost, we're actually almost there. We're, we're, we'll be there probably in the next week or so, I think. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. Uh, Dance the Night Away. Great song. By the way, if you guys have ever heard the entire, um, if you've ever heard the, uh, the Guitar Hero tracks, which I have, I, g- I got them all, what, like nine, ten years ago? It's something like ten hours of audio. All the bass tracks, all the drum tracks, all the guitar tracks, all the vocals, all the extras, like the keyboards, keyboards, uh, sound effects. Uh, Like the engine in Panama, you know, all that type of stuff. I have all that stuff. And if you ever if you ever hear that's if you ever hear like the full version of Dance Night Away on the album, it fades out. Right. But. The Guitar Hero version, it doesn't fade out. The song actually stops. And so you can actually hear like like uh, a few more seconds of the track. And it actually ends with, with, the, with tapping harmonic stuff. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Okay, after that, track three, Somebody Get Me a Doctor. You guys, I'll give you some trivia on that one too. That is a, a riff that uh, Edward wrote... And uh, from what I've I've heard, 1974, and there is audio. Um, it is I'm pretty sure it's been confirmed. There is audio of Edward working uh, the riff out um, in 1974. I've heard it. I have it. So you guys, I have all this stuff in my iPad, iPod iPod Classic that only works in my car. <laughs> it doesn't work anywhere else. So when I'm when I'm driving, I can only listen to this stuff. I can't listen to it, you know, anywhere else because the battery dies instantly. But there is audio of Edward working up the riff to somebody get me a doctor, and I believe he's actually doing playing the playing it in drop D, or something like that. If you ever hear the audio, it's very cool. Very cool stuff. Uh, and then, yeah, eventually it was released on Van Halen 2 in 1979. All right, after that, Bottoms Up, another great tune. Yeah, you guys, let me know in the chat some of your favorite songs from this, uh, this album. Or are you guys celebrating today by listening to the, the album? Let me know. Let me know. Deputy Van Halen is saying before the D-Tuna days. That's right, man. Yeah, I, it's either in drop D or it's it's in some sort of a drop. Um, it's some sort of like the low E is definitely dropped to a lower note uh, when he was originally working up the, the riff to somebody get me a doctor. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, actually. Let me know if you guys have heard it. It's pretty good stuff. And supposedly it was 1974 uh, when that was recorded. It was like it sounds like it's recorded on a boom box or something. But it has been uh, confirmed that it, it is Eddie. Because, um, you know, there is a lot of stuff out there, especially in the early days of the Internet and, and YouTube. A lot of stuff out there saying, oh, this is Van Halen. And, you know, it's just some guy, you know, doing this. And it's like, yeah, you know, that's not that's not it. You can tell it's not him. A dead giveaway when somebody's trying to fake a Van Halen, like they're playing something and it's like they're trying to sound like actually him. A dead giveaway is the vibrato on the left hand. You can always tell. You can always tell. The vibrato always gives it away. So there's a, a hint for you guys. Even some, some Van Halen tributes, you know, they just, some of the guitar players, they just don't have that, that vibrato. I've only heard, I've only heard a couple players that, that really, really have it down. So, all right, where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, let's see, bottoms up. Uh, Out of Love Again, another great tune. Uh, just classic, classic guitar riffs. Uh, I mean, Roth, 
was definitely um, one one of the top uh, David Lee Roth albums. I think Van Halen, Van Halen Two. Even on the Van Halen Two tour, the '79, they called it the World Vacation Tour. Uh, some like some of the Super Eight footage, you see Roth on stage, and it's like, it's like I understand, I get it. When a lot of you, you know, old school Van Halen fans are like Van Hagar, no, Roth era, yes. I grew up on the Van Hagar era. The my first Van Halen album was uh, Fifty One Fifty, and then the first album, and then I remember buying this album on vinyl. I remember hearing this album for the first time at my grandma's house on vinyl. It would have been uh, 87 or 88 when I when I got it. Let me see. Uh, 40 Grit. Hey, what's up, dude? 40 Grit is saying Dweezil Zappa has the EVH down. Dweezil Zappa. Anytime we, a name gets mentioned and I have uh, a channel ID, I like to play it. I know I, I, have, I have him somewhere. Thing is, I got so many of these things. It gets to the point where it's like harder to find. Uh, I know I played it. Oh, right there. There we go. Hi, this is Weasel Zappo. You're watching Johnny B TV. Yeah, Dweezil Zappa. Oh, he definitely has it down. Well, he hung out with him. You know, I mean, he learned a lot of that stuff uh, directly from from Edward. So that's definitely that, that's definite, man. Let's see. Eric is saying, uh, top to bottom classic album, not one bad song. I agree with you there, man. Eric on Facebook. I agree, man. Great, great one. Uh, Johnny Mac, 5150, is saying, Johnny, I swear I think his low E is tuned down to A, much like he would later do on Good Enough and a tune on VH3. And that clip on Two and a Half Men, down to A. Okay, that's possible. That's possible. It's it's tuned down to down to A. Yeah, like I said, it's definitely the the somebody get me a doctor uh, where he's writing the riff. 1974 is what it's uh, credited as. The audio, um, it's definitely tuned down. It's definitely tuned down pretty low, if you if you listen to it. So very good. Let's see. We got Brazil here. What's up, Francisco? Great to see you. We got Brazil. Where's everybody watching from today? Let let me know. Let me know in the chat. I'm in Santa Cruz, California, where it's currently 1.40 p.m. right now, West Coast. Let me know in the chat where you guys are watching from. Uh, 40 Grit saying VH2 uh, is amazing. Darker album. Yeah, Deputy Van Halen. I got my first turntable uh, from my late brother. Uh, he got a state-of-the-art stereo and gave me his old one. My first VH record was 84 and 84. Right on, man. Yeah. Texas. Dan Gorman's in Texas. <laughs> I love Texas, man. I've played Texas. I played South by Southwest years ago. I've played Austin many times. I've played Dallas I played, um, uh, where else is there? Other places. Great, uh, great stuff. Let's see. Alan Garber saying, Dweezil knows quite a few Van Halen licks and songs, but he does not know it. Nope. Or nope. Most people don't, I think. Most people don't, don't know this stuff. Uh, no, no. But hey, Alan, when I met Weasel, I mentioned your name. I dropped your name. You know? I said, hey, I, I'm friends with Alan Garber. And he's like, oh, cool. So, very cool. Dakota's saying he's in Independence, Missouri. Right on. Eric, uh, up the road. Scott's, you're in Scott's Valley? Dude, I'm in Santa Cruz, man. We're neighbors. Dude, right on, man. I drive through Scott's Valley all the time when I take uh, Highway 17. All the time. Dan Gorman. Let's see. The first show on this tour was Fresno's uh, Selland Arena. G. Butchnoff is saying. G, did you used to live in Fresno? I know you're down in uh, Orange County area-ish now, but Fresno. I played Fresno, too, one time. I remember the, I don't remember the exact club I played, but I remember one of the opening bands, uh, this girl was playing the guitar, and she broke a string, and I gave her my guitar to use for the rest of their set. Uh, but I don't remember, I don't remember their band's name. 
but let's see. Rainy Stamford, Connecticut. Janice is saying, right on. Yeah. See, that that's how I roll. When I'm out there playing gigs, I always help out. If, if another band, if, if they break a string or if something happens, I'm always right there, like, right, helping them out. I've offered my guitar to many different uh, players uh, in, uh, in other bands. It's just, uh, I just, I hate, I hate seeing uh, musicians just struggling, you know, because it's a, it's a struggle, all of it. It's, it's a struggle. We kind of talked about this last night on, on the Talking Guitar show, you know, taking all your gear to, to, to uh, gigs, you know, hauling things everywhere. It's a struggle. It really is. Let's see. All right, let's keep going here. What's the next song? Let's see, Out of Love Again. Did we talk about that one? I think we did. Light Up the Sky, another great song. And uh, here's some trivia for you guys. In the uh, the 2015 tour, didn't they open? Uh, they opened up uh, one of the legs of that with "Light Up the Sky." If not the entire tour, I think. There's actually a really cool YouTube video out there. I don't know who who filmed it, but uh, they're out there at the very beginning of the of the show. They're right in front of Edward, and for some reason. The audio is almost like a direct feed to his guitar. I don't think it is, but because of where they're at on the stage, and again, this is a 2015 video. They're right in front of Edward. His amp is basically, that's all their audio is getting. So it, it's an amazing, amazing video if you guys haven't seen it. And again, it's of uh, Light Up the Sky. Let's see, 40 Grit is saying the entire tour of Wolf's Choice. Okay, cool. I saw them twice on that tour. Concord, California and Mountain View, California. It was incredible. Incredible stuff. Let's see. Okay, where are we going after that? Spanish Fly. You guys you guys know the history of that song. That's a tune uh, that uh, I believe uh, Edward was, was playing on a, on a classical guitar or an acoustic guitar. Uh, I think at uh, Ted Templeman's house on like New Year's New Year's Eve or something, something like that, and Ted heard it and and uh, they released it on Van Halen two, and it was kind of like a part two of Eruption, because you know that's all electric. First album, second album, you got Spanish Fly, which is very you know similar type of thing, and Edward would use that on his. Uh, during his guitar solos, uh, pretty much every tour uh, after that. Hey, what's up? Facebook Facebook user, who is that? If you're watching this on Facebook and if you're commenting, sometimes I can't see your name and your avatar. So, that video is glorious. The one I was talking about, the one that's right in front of Edward, and all you can hear is his guitar, 2015 tour. It's incredible. Nylon guitar. Yeah, Spanish fly. Oh, it's Mark Dunn. Mark Dunn, welcome, man. Good to see you. Alan Garber, hey, you're welcome, man. Alan, you got to jump on a show again sometime now. Spanish fly. So it's like an acoustic or nylon version of, of Eruption. And you guys know, every album after that, Edward would do some sort of a, a guitar track. Uh, after that, I think on uh, Women, Children First, we had uh, uh, the intro. We had Tora Tora, is what it was called. Which, by the way, I did a guitar lesson on how to play Tora Tora. I know that sounds crazy, because if you realize how that song, how that track was actually played, it's actually just all backwards effects. There'll be a card right up here on playback at 29, we'll just say at 29 minutes. Janice, can you send me a tweet? Reminded me to post the, the Tora Tora guitar lesson at 29. We'll put at 29.29. Okay. 29.29. Here, let me just write that down. 29.29 Tora. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I did a guitar lesson on how to play Tora Tora. It's pretty cool. Uh, where are we at after that? Okay, DOA. That's another song that goes back uh, to even before Van Halen 2. 
They were playing DOA live in 77. One of the best Van Halen bootlegs ever, in my opinion, is the Pasadena Civic 77. It's it's a uh, soundboard. It's just an amazing, amazing uh, show. Most of you guys have probably heard it, although it's been out there under different names. I think the one that I had originally, it was a CD called Dress to Kill. And the, the front of it, what the cover was them from like the Hoffer Teacher video where they're all wearing the, the, the tuxedos and they're all going like this. Right? Dress to Kill. The one problem with that CD is it's all one track. So you can't, you can't skip between songs. Like you, you put it, you put it in and the, the whole track just says track one and it keeps going for an hour, <laughs> but it's an amazing album. If you guys can, well, bootleg, if you guys can find that, it also has some of the, the Gene Simmons, uh, run with the devil house of pain recordings on it. And it has some live stuff. It has some live tracks, uh, down in flames, uh, which I be which became Tattoo later on, and a song called Bullethead, right? In the year 2929. Who wrote that? All right. <laughs> Smash that thumbs up. Smash. How many? We got 40 people watching. You guys are awesome, man. For a pop up show, 40 people is pretty good. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Smash that thumbs up. We got 11 thumbs ups. I just saw it. Somebody just smashed it just now. Smash that thumbs up. If you like this stuff, if you appreciate this stuff, let me know by smashing the thumbs up on these videos. Dropping comments below. Telling your friends. Tell your friends to watch this stuff. There we go. There we go. Okay. After that, DOA. They played that song in the in the uh, I think in the clubs. They they definitely played it. They were playing it in '77, and it's virtually the same the same song as what uh, was released on the album. Track nine, "Women in Love." Don't get confused, because there was another song called "Women in Love," right? That they did on their de original demos, which is a different song. Right? Is that true? But then also, Beautiful Girls, originally, the original title for that was Bring On The Girls, right? Bring On The Girls. <laughs> I think it was the same music and everything, but different lyrics. They changed it later on. See, that's why a producer comes in, like Ted Templeman comes in and says, yeah, I don't know about that. You should change that to this. That's, that's, that's what, a, that's what a, a producer does, if you guys are wondering. So if, if you guys are out there, uh, uh, you know, if you're going, if you're going to record or go into the studio or anything, try to work with the producer uh, because they they can they can give you some good good advice on on recording, on on lyrics, on song placement, you know, all the, all the different different types of types of stuff. Let's see, yeah. So there you go. That's the track listing right there for uh, Van Halen 2. Do we want to read some words here? Let me see. One second. All right. Actually, I need I need to have some uh I need to have some of this delicious 365 ginger sparkling water real quick. I've been talking for half an hour. All right. All right, let's check this out. Uh, this uh, concise follow-up to Van Halen's self-titled debut uh, appeared just 13 months after their first album. Yeah, back in the day, you guys, Van Halen, they were releasing album after album after, al after album. They'd make an album, tour, make an album, tour. And that happened for, for several years. If you go back and look at Van Halen's early albums, the dates are every year. 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. And then from there, that's where it started to get spaced out with uh, 86, 88, 91. Technically 93 with the live one. 
95. Right? Yeah, 96. 98. And then from there, I think it went, what, 2004? No, 20, 2012. Yeah, 2004 and 2012. All right, let's keep going. Uh, recorded in three weeks and released on March 23rd, 45 years ago today. I think that's what we're saying. And Russell is saying everything's better on 8-track. But, dude, on the 8-tracks, that's that's where the songs would, would cut out, right? Like, you'd be listening to a track, and all of a sudden, it's like, it's like gone, and the thing flips over, and, it's, and then the song start, you know, comes back in. Yeah. A tracks, I did. I did own some Van Halen on A track back in the day. Although A tracks was kind of before my time a little bit, just a little bit. Recorded in three weeks and released on March twenty third, nineteen seventy nine. The band's second album is a hard rock tour de force, spotlighting the band's stellar musicianship and the upfront wizardry of guitar genius Eddie Van Halen and lead vocalist David Lee Roth. The production plan for Van Halen's second uh, album was simple. If at, fir- if at first you succeed wildly, retrace your steps and try, try again. The band returned to Studio One at Sunset Sound Recorders. I should have worn my Sunset Sound t-shirt today. I have a Sunset Sound uh, t-shirt. They returned on December 10th, 1978, within a week of completing its first world tour. Eddie was stressed out trying to bring the band down from full party mode. I was trying to wake the guys up, he said, saying, hey, guys, we've got to chill out a little bit because we're because we've got to do another. We got another record to do. Yeah, there's that there's that uh, that uh, back of the album cover right there. Very cool. And what's the trivia with that jump that Roth is doing there? Isn't there isn't there some trivia in the chat? Let me know. Isn't there uh, when Roth landed from that exact jump? Did something happen? Let me know in the chat. Let's see. Wait, I just got a gig. <laughs> May eleventh. I'm sorry. Hang on one second. Let me check my calendar. I just got a gig. May 11th, that's coming up, uh, oh, it's a Saturday. Yeah, I'll do it. Yes, count me in. Wait a minute. There we go. You guys, I just got a gig. I'm playing a show May 11th somewhere. It's most likely a private gig, so unfortunately, uh, but hey, I will make some, uh, make some dough. Thank you. See, that's what happens. That's that's how I get my gigs. I get, I get text messages. Hey, want to play this show on this day? Yep. Then we do it. All right. All right. Anyway, you guys, <laughs> breaking news. I'm playing a gig. I'm playing a show. We'll talk more about that tonight on the Saturday Night Show. All right. So anyway, awesome back cover there. Van Halen 2. You see Roth is jumping. I believe something happened when he landed from that uh, p- actual jump. Let me know in the in the chat. Eddie Van Halen is is playing the the uh, the Van Halen two guitar, the Bumblebee, which if you look at it, the striping pattern is very similar to his original black and white. If you really really look clo- close enough, but for the back of the album cover, uh, the guitar was was not totally functioning yet. And he slapped in a pickup that was not that was not working, just to make it look like a complete guitar. I know on the back of the album there you can't really see the pickup, but on the inner sleeve you do see photos of Edward, and you do see the guitar, you do see the pickup. Uh, let's see, Ogre Lord fifty one fifty is saying he broke his foot. Yeah, yeah, I believe Roth uh, broke his broke his foot or his ankle broke his ankle or he sprained it or something when he when he landed from that exact jump so there you go you got michael anthony playing what looks to be uh, a p bass very cool you got alex back there 
He's got the drum set. He's got the, the his drumsticks are on fire. <laughs> Very cool. Dude. Yeah, these guys, man. These guys are awesome. There we go. There's some more words there. Let's just keep going. Let's keep scrolling through a little bit. There's an awesome photo of Roth with the nurses. And I don't know if they brought if they brought the nurses in for that because he broke his foot or if that was just a part of it. Well, probably because of the somebody get me a doctor reference, I think. Let's see. Very cool. Let's keep going. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, you can't see the pickup in that photo, but you can see more of the guitar. Oh, okay. Here's here's some text right here. Uh, the record kicked off with a cover of... Okay, so Clint Ballard Jr. Um, uh, wrote, uh, You're No Good. But uh, Linda Ronstadt uh, sang it. Okay. All right. That's cool. Yeah, look at that guitar. That's so cool. Charvel. That's great. And that was before the, the Floyd Rose. He had the Floyd Rose uh, later on. I believe on that tour, the Van Halen 2 tour, is where the, the Floyd Rose came into play. 79 tour. And that's when he painted his original black and white guitar. He added some red to it. So some people think that's two different guitars, the, the black and white and the, the red, black, and white. But it is the same guitar. Okay, there he is, Roth, with his foot uh, bandaged up. Look at that. There's his foot right there. Very cool. Oh, and look at that. That photo was taken by legendary rock photographer Niels Lozauer. Right here. Hey, folks. Niels Lozauer here. Check out my good friend, Johnny Bean TV. Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, let me do one more. Where is it? We're a good Facebook friend. Okay. Wait, where is it, though? The Johnny Bean TV. It's YouTube, Facebook, okay. uh, Twitter. It's okay, let's do one more. Okay. It's everywhere. Hey, folks. And Niels Twitch. Lozauer here. Check out Johnny Bean TV on Facebook and YouTube. You'll enjoy it. Awesome. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Niels Lozauer. He really did take the best photos of Van Halen. Definitely. Niels Lozauer. All right. Oh, yeah. These photos right here. These are Niels Lozauer photos. In the studio. Recording Van Halen 2. Look at that. You can see Roth has the uh, the foot uh, broken. Yeah. I think these were just mock studio photos. I don't think this, this is them actually recording. Because his foot's already already bandaged up. And they they were, did those photos for the album cover. So, yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Let me know in the chat. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. But very cool photos. Classic photos of the band in the studio, regardless if they're actually recording there or not. You got Edward. You got the black and white guitar. You got another Strat back there with the Dan Electro uh, neck. Got the Coke bottle headstock. And a lot of you got a lot, a lot of guys, not you guys personally, but there's a lot of guitar players out there. When, when EVH released the, the Star guitar, it had a replica headstock of that headstock the pop, with a Coke bottle, pop bottle headstock. A lot, of, a lot of players are like, nah, you know, they don't dig it. But I don't think they realize that came from that. I mean, that was an actual thing. So, very cool. But here's some more trivia. Oh, and you can see the, the shark guitar back there, which, by the way, will be giving away this uh, tin shark graphic. We'll be giving this away uh, just shortly. Probably in about 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes, we'll be doing this. Because I'm going to keep the show to an hour today because I have another show to do in uh, about five hours. 
So, yeah, so we'll be giving this away in a little bit. So make sure you keep it here. We got 40 people watching. You guys are awesome. Again, thank you. Thank you. And yeah, smash that thumbs up. We got 15 thumbs ups. Let's see if we can get at least, can we get 25 thumbs ups while we're live? That'd be awesome. Uh, let's see. Uh, but anyway, that, that strat you see back there, the, the natural one with the white pick card, uh, that strat was used for the beginning, the tapping intro to uh, Women in Love. And you can definitely hear it. You can hear the, the strat pickups. I love strat guitars. I love them. Actually, I have a strat. I need to get fixed up. Maybe I need to make a call today. Or I just need to fix it myself. Uh, anyway, look at all those cabinets back there. You got those awesome uh, 412 cabs. Looks like the uh, the the Tolex, the, the covering is all taken off. Canada Dry ginger ale cans. You got Schlitz malt liquor cans down there. You got another Dan Electro down or Silvertone down there. I have one of those guitars. And look at that. It looks like a, a, a Diver Down sticker on the back of that guitar. That's interesting how they would have that for their album cover in, in just a few years. But uh, Eddie did have a, a Diver Down sticker on the back of the guitar there. That's pretty cool. We actually have a, 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 a Diver... Um, I don't know if it's a store or if it's like a club or whatever, but actually here in Santa Cruz, we do have some sort of diver association building and their flag is that flag outside. It's so weird out here in, uh, in Santa Cruz because we got like a, like a diver down building and we also have the Western exterminator, uh, exterminators out here, which you guys know, that was the mascot for the 1984 tour. The guy with the top hat and the, the hammer. And there's actually a little, a little uh, mouse that he's actually looking at. Most people, you don't, you don't see that. But you got the guy with the nose and the glasses and the hat. He has, and the, he has the hammer. He's actually looking down, pointing at a mouse. That's actually part of the, the, the mascot. But we got those here too. I see those trucks almost every day driving around. Uh, and then as far as this photo here, yeah, you got drumsticks on the ground. It looks like a Winston cigarette pack on the ground there. That's Edward's amplifier there. Has the back taken off. I believe that's his original Marshall amp. So he had the back taken off so you can get to the tubes. You could change the stuff out. Because at the time, he was using a, a Variac, which you actually you can see on the top of that cabinet right here. That's the Variac right there. That's how he would he would uh, boost uh, boost the signal. I guess is is the easiest way to to uh, explain that. So you, you got that. You got the cabs there. You got the, the amp there. Looks like you have. It's probably like a McDonald's, like a shake right there. Down here, you guys can see my my uh, little pointer there. That's an echoplex. So that that's how he would get like the, the slap back sounds to the end of uh, of uh, eruption. And then the echoplex, I believe he would use on, on the intro to Ain't Talking About Love. Very cool. Dakota, I see your comments. Okay, you're talking about the Variac. He would lower the voltage so the amp wouldn't be as loud. There you go. And G. Bushnoff is saying, and there, also there's a, a Univox ec80 in the fake bomb bomb behind the fake bomb bomb <laughs> bomb bomb <laughs> fake bomb bomb yeah there it is right there there it is yeah this is a great photo this photo you can see everything again neil's lows hour photograph we love you neil yeah here's the here's the the uh what do you call it univox right here might be two of them. One there, run one there. Very cool. Very cool. Let's see. There we go. Oh, there's a there's a great fo photo of Edward. Oh, you can see his pickup right there. I believe that's a Mighty Might pickup. <laughs> Has the the pink uh, bobbins on it. Is Ron here? Hey, Ron. 
Ron, look at that pickup is pink. <laughs> Great photo of that guitar though. The the yellow, the yellow and black and the, the pink. That's great. Yeah, Dakota saying it's possibly a Mighty Might 1300. Cool. Very cool. By the way, if you guys see somebody named Nightbot just spamming the chat, Nightbot is me. You can trust those links. And Nightbot is saying, drop us a review. There's a link right there. Drop us a review on Google. You guys, if, you're, if you dig these shows, if you want to help us out, another way you can help out these shows and help out this channel is to drop a, a review on Google. And if you're signed into YouTube, you're signed into Google. So all you got to do is click that link. And what that'll do is that'll take you over to my review page. And it looks like that. Actually, I've made this. It does. It actually doesn't look like that. <laughs> it actually doesn't look like this at all. I actually made this. But this pretty much explains it. Because see, you can see some reviews. You got MPN there. You got CC. You got Miles. You got Mike. You got, you got people leaving uh, reviews here, dropping reviews, you know. So you can leave us some stars. You can be like, hey, you know, this show, you know, I like this show or whatever. But, uh, yeah, drop us a review, please. So all you got to do is click that link right there. That's all you got to do. And, again, you can trust any of the links in the chat that you see that Nightbot gives you. You can trust those links because Nightbot, aside from me, only myself and Nightbot, which is me, can drop links in the chat. So there's no sorts of weird spamming going on in my chats. You can trust, trust you guys. Right on. All right, let's get back to this. And then, uh, here, how do we do that? There we go. And then let's let's do the let's do the the giveaway in a in a, a minute or so, because I was gonna I was gonna keep these shows to about an hour. So I, I have another show to do. Van Halen two poster. I had this poster. Oh my gosh, I used to have that exact poster. I I, I bought it at um, at a place called Village Music in Mill Valley, California. Sammy Hagar used to shop at the same place actually. I had that poster, and I unfortunately sold it years and years and years ago. I wish I still had it, but it was a promo poster for uh, the Van Halen 2 album, and you can see the bottom. It has Van Halen and Van Halen 2 on it, the two albums they had out at the time. Oh, now very... No way! I had that poster. Man. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right. Anyway, great photo of those guys. Yeah, so awesome. All right, there, there's some uh, some facts right there. Live footage. It says, thank God that the band decided to professionally film a bit of the concert uh, one night during the 79 tour. Oh, where you got the three tracks for the the Don Kirshner rock cla rock concert broadcast. Dance Not Away, You're No Good, and Bottoms Up. Classic videos, if you guys have not seen those. I'm, I would think most of you guys probably have seen those. Great stuff. Great stuff. Very cool. Look at that. Right on. Van Halen 2. Oh, that's like, that's the Dance Not Away cover. <laughs> the single. Wow. Yeah, that's like Mike doing his solo. His solo for the 79... Dudes, his solo for the 79 tour was, was awesome. And there, there's a, a bootleg out there. It's, it's a soundboard. I want to say it's Tucson, Arizona, 79. Soundboard, you guys, 79. It's awesome. Definitely listen to it if you guys get a chance. There's an alternate shot from the Van Halen 2 album shoot. Very cool. And then... There we go. All right. All right, let's do let's let's do the um, let's do the giveaway. We're almost at at an hour. All right, we're gonna give this away. Van Halen uh, Shark Destroyer graphic guitar pick tin. 
brand new, not unopened. How many picks are in here? I don't know. Anyway, let's do this. Let's do a, let's do the giveaway. Oh no, do I not have the giveaway thing open? <laughs> oh crap. Okay, let's let's open that as fast as we can. Random number. All right, how many people we got here? We got about forty people here. All right, I unfortunately did not have the the uh, the the thing open. But uh, anything you guys type in the chat now on YouTube, you'll be eligible. Okay. Actually, let's go ahead and let's just do a thousand. Let me let me make sure this let me make sure this even works. Uh, hey God, why is this? Oh, here we go. Okay, actually, we'll do. Oh, there you go. Okay, I see you guys now. Roll it. Ah, eh, we'll do. Yeah, we'll do a thousand. We'll make it. We'll make it easier. Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to roll it. There we go. The giveaway has started to, to win. Enter a number between zero and one thousand right now on YouTube. You have to be on YouTube to participate in this. Okay, I know we got Facebook. I know we got Twitch, but you have to be on YouTube to participate in the giveaway. So start entering numbers now between zero and a thousand. Enter numbers. Enter numbers. And this is what you, this is what you'll win. Eddie Van Halen. EVH graphic series max grip picks. You guys keep entering the same number too. And it's not that number. Let me just tell you that. How many are in here? I want to say there might be like 12. Man. It's Texas Texas is getting so small. You can't I can't read stuff with the glasses and I can't read stuff without the glasses. It's horrible. <laughs> All right. Enter enter your numbers now. Now I'll give you one hint. Uh, two of the digits are the same. Okay. I can't even read this. That text is so small. I want to read it, but I can't read it by looking at it. The graphic artwork on these pics. I can't even read. That's so tidy. I got to take my glasses off to read. Oh my gosh! Now I know what. It, now I know what's happening. <laughs> the graphic artwork on these. Uh... Anyway, I can't read. It's too small to read. You guys know what? Know what? You guys know what those are, though. They're guitar picks. Ah, oh, let's just do this. Let's take a photo of it. Let's see. The graphic artwork on these picks is. Sourced from Eddie Van Halen's Shark Guitar, best known from its appearance from the 1980 Van Halen album Women, Children First. This is the exact pick that Eddie used, a Dunlop Max Grip 60 mm gauge pick. The burgundy with silver stripes graphic combined with the unmistakable Max Grip feel makes for a pick that looks and performs second to none. That's what it says. All right, cool. Very cool. All right. All right. Enter your, your guesses now. We got about 50 watching right now, you guys. If you're just tuning in, we're giving away a, a Shark uh, Max Grip uh, Guitar Pick 10. Enter your numbers. Enter your guesses in the chat. And again, you must be on YouTube to, to, to participate. You must be on YouTube. 
You can guess in the other in on Facebook, but it's not going to count. Unfortunately. <laughs> and let's change the song. I was actually going to work on more music to to use for these shows. Maybe I'll do that today. Do I have time? I have another show coming up in about five hours. Oh, that reminds me. We're actually giving away a guitar pedal next week. So subscribe to the channel and participate in the live chats of these shows or the comments down below on these shows. You can always drop comments below once the shows are over. You can always do that, too. So enter your numbers now to win this. It's not even open. Oh, there we go. If you pause the video, you can read that. How many are, I don't know, how many are even, are even in there? I'm going to assume 12. Could be less. I don't think it's any more than that. Eddie Van Halen graphic series Max Grip 10. 10, not 10. Wait a minute, is it only six? Oh, I think there's only six picks in there. Okay, not 12. Wait, no, the six, you get six if you get the, the packages. One, two, three. Maybe it is six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's six. Okay. All right. You get six guitar picks in here. Six. Tracy, what's up? What's up? Great to see you. Mike Wood, where you been, man? We've been live for an hour. What's up, you guys? You guys want to win? And Mike, 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 what was that sh you gave me last night? Okay, Mike, I know you won a, a guitar pick on here uh, last week. Or no, I think you just, I think I just gave you one. Anyway, I'll get that to you at some point. Been lazy? That's okay, man. Internationally Insane Studios. Great to see you, man. T Fetch is here, guessing. Good to see you guys. We're giving away this Guitar Pick 10 Max Grip right now. Right now. <laughs> Dude, all the batteries and all my sound machines are, are busting up. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh man. man. Come on. All right. I'll give you guys a hint. Three digits. Two of the numbers are the same. Okay. Does that make sense? And smash that thumbs up. Smash. Oh, wait, somebody just did it just now, right when I said that. Smash it. Let's see if we can get to 30 likes, likes here on uh, the YouTube video. Joe, what's up? I see you in the chat. Uncle Dude is here. I see you, man. Marshall, I see you in the chat. S. McMillan, I see you. Uh, Kinger's Music is here. I see you. Um, I can't pronounce your name, but I, I see it. What's up, man? How do you pronounce your name, by the way? Great to see you. Great to see you in the chat. Let's see. Can I go back far enough to where it said enter numbers? Probably not. You guys are really entering those numbers. I'm going to scroll back a little bit. I'm going to try. I can't. It, you guys, there's so many comments here. I can't do it. Oh, well. You guys know what's going on. You guys know. And by the way, while you guys are, are guessing... Let me just mention again, we'll be live tonight. I think we're actually doing half an hour, a little half an hour later tonight. I think that's where I said it. 
I mean, we could start regular time anyway. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, it says 7.30 p.m. Normally, we start at 7 Pacific. So that's 10 p.m. Eastern. So 10.30. So, yeah, we'll start at 10.30. We'll start a little later tonight, I think. So about 10.30 uh, Pacific, uh, Eastern, 7.30 Pacific. Saturday night. And we'll be talking, you know, we'll talk more about this if you want. We talk rock music, rock guitars, trivia, all that sort, you know, all that stuff. We talk all kinds of whatever on Saturday nights. We have a winner? We do? Wait a minute. We do. T, T Fetch. T Fetch, you won. <laughs> You're like, you have a winner. <laughs> You're like telling me. <laughs> Johnny, shut up. You have a, somebody won. <laughs> right on. T Fetch, you win. Message me. See that phone number right there? 415 952 3263. Was that you? I'm a winner. I just got a text message saying I'm a winner. Hey, if that's you, message me your name, where you want me to send these, and what you won. Make sure to put, you know, put uh, Shark Guitar Pick 10 in your message. Yeah, let me actually write down uh, giveaway winners. I have a, a, a notes app that tells me all this stuff. Actually, last, who's the guy that won last night? Uh, Danny. Danny Metallica guitar picks. Okay, those I still need to send. I was telling you guys a story earlier about how I was trying to send them this morning, but... T E E Fetch Shark Guitar Pick 10. All right. All right. We got you, man. We got you. Okay. You just said you're a wiener. Okay. All right. I got you. I got your info. I got, I got it. I got it. I'll be sending that out first thing. Monday. By the way, you guys, I do uh, Guitar Center uh, videos on Mondays. So I'll, I'll see you guys live from Guitar Center on Monday. Huh? Is that a text number now? Or text? Oh, is that a text now number? Uh, you can text. I don't text now. Is that a service? It's not. If, if, that, if you're asking if that's a text now. No, it's not. Um. But yeah, you can, you guys, if you guys want, you guys can text me, text me anytime at this number, anytime you want, day or night, you can text that number and maybe I'll write you back. I don't know. If you want to send in photos of your guitars during these shows, if you want to send in, you know, anything cool, you can always text this phone number right here. All right. All right, you guys, I think, uh, I think we're out of here because yeah, we have a, a, we have another show we have to get ready for, uh, in a little bit. And by the way, we're giving away a guitar pedal next week. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and participate in the live chats when we do these shows. Thank you again. Smash that thumbs up. We're at 31 thumbs ups on today's uh, Van Halen video. Thank you, guys. And let's say thank you to our channel members. Thank you for your continued support for this uh, channel and these shows. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And what else? Really quickly, Cameo. Hey, you want a video for your brand or business or for grandma? Hit me up on Cameo. I'll make a video for you. If you want a shout out, hit me up. Yeah. So we were live on Facebook. Hey, follow me on Facebook, you guys. Johnny Bean. Give me a follow on Facebook. Let's become Facebook friends. Follow me on Twitch. Spotify, you can listen to these shows. Hey, we're on X, Johnny Bean. There we are. We're everywhere. Give us a follow. And hey, if you want to get some cool gear, hit us up below. Affiliate links below in the description of this video at Sweetwater and Amazon. There you go. All right. All right, we're out here. Thank you for watching, you guys. I will see you guys later tonight. So come on back. We'll have a great time. We'll hang out.
And yeah, we'll, we'll be uh, giving away something cool tonight as well. So, all right. I got to make a Starbucks run. <laughs> I, I got to wake up. All right. I'll see you guys later. Johnny Bean TV. Bye bye. And then I'll give you mine, so come back around this way. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Mike. Mike. Hi. How are you doing? I'm Johnny Bean. I met you last year. I talked on Google Plus. Oh. Yes. I remember you. Yeah. All right. Let's go. One, two, three. Yeah. Who's at a Google Plus hangout? I'm Johnny Bean.